So what we see in the landing site is a lot of really great geology. You look at it from orbit and you appreciate that the things you're looking down on are really unusual. Beneath our feet we have an interesting jumble of pebbles on a flat terrain. We don't know at this point why we're seeing just the small pebbles and not any big boulders like we've seen with the Viking and the Pathfinder missions where we landed. So that'll be something that we try to figure out by looking at the materials and the textures and structures in the, in the geology. There's material that was carried down by water from the rim of Gale Crater and left a deposit of materials, and that's called the alluvial fan. So it brought things to us and that were carried by water. So again, we're interested in past environments that could have been suitable for life, and so we'll probably try to check out some of those types of materials before we head to Mount Sharp for what we think is the ultimate goal of the mission, to look at the lower layers that are rich in clay minerals, and then to scoot up the base of the mountain to get to the sulfate minerals, which would presumably record evidence of a different past environment. These layers, the lower parts of Mount Sharp, are composed of phyllosilicates and sulfates, which are both hydrated minerals. And so we know from orbit that we're very likely to have a, a discovery that involves some aspect of, of water on ancient Mars. This time around, I do feel a sense of responsibility to make sure that we do everything we can for the mission to be successful. And with that also comes the responsibility that if you head in the wrong direction, there will be a price to pay. And so, you know, for me, the planning is incredibly important. And I think this is also incredibly exciting because it just looks so good. There's just something about the Gale Crater landing site that just feels right to me.